Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 Mod Showcase with me, Kevin Sawyer. And in today's Mod Showcase is a bit of a two for one episode. Um, they both cover the same sort of subject, which is uh, placeable floodlights. Now, uh, like I say, it's two for one. And I'm going to go through the benefits and the, well, the pros and the cons of both. Um, this one here. Um, is made by the author of Alex 2009 and you can find it on the uh, FS or the Farming Simulator website, official website. I will put the link for the mod in the description of course guys. Um, with this one it is again it's placeable and I'll go through the where it is on the um, where it is in your uh, mods listing in a sh shortly, but it's quite straightforward. You just download it and then just tell run on the file, and it will just automatically install into your uh, um, game without anything else needed. Um, the only thing I will say to you guys, if you're running a lower end PC like mine, it's uh, a few years old at least. Um, you and also it's a kind of thing we even with the giant software if you switch the lights on and off it kind of get a bit of lag here or there and everywhere with this one this particular one it comes with a PIR detector on it so um, basically once you switch it on it'll go on and I will show you what they look like at night as well as you can see actually in the daytime here it does throw out quite a lot of light it's almost like a night sun in a sense, um, but with the the pr the cons with having this one with the PIR, because it does kind of doesn't switch off, because you can still see it's on from a distance, as I will show you when I do a little run round uh, in the second part of the video. Um, but when it comes on, as you drive towards it, it sort of like you'll get an initial bit of lag and you'll probably pick it up in my uh, showcase here as well but that's how you activate it you just more or less walk up straight to it and you press spacebar your little man jumps and it switches on or off but basically as I say it has a PIR on it so you can switch off and forget about it it'll dull out um, and it'll switch on as you drive towards it now that's for one floodlight I'm going to walk over to this one over here. This is one that Charlie uh, kind of sent my way to do a mod review on. So I'll show you this one now. It's not a bad little one. Um, it Again, it's a bit different to the other one over there. As you can see now, actually, as so you see I've walked away from there, the light is switched off. Now you can see the light is still on, but the light being thrown around is gone so it's a bit odd but I guess it's the rest that they can do with the uh, with the uh, giant software and again it switches back off and switches back on it kind of as you go towards it um, this one again very nice details throughout and uh, the modder for this one is uh, Mod Haven um, I hope I haven't butchered their name and I'll again I'll put the link in the description for you for, the, for this one as well guys um, if you haven't got this mod for yourself it, again it's another placeable mod although it looks like it's freely movable it isn't unfortunately once you place it it's there for good uh, this doesn't come with a PIR so once you switch on it's on no matter what so you can throw it on and again as you can see is it the light texture is a brighter on this one it's almost like a, again a very bright night sun shining down but again it show, throws out quite a tremendous amount of light and again I will show you what they look like at night um, the only thing I will say but again this is an early version of this mod it could it could um, well it could be updated in future patches perhaps and they might change the way it works um, although the details are very good um, and it does look like a genuine floodlight you'd get off of a off of a Jenny uh, one thing and um, one thing you guys and probably can hear and I can hear there's no generator now okay it could have a battery bank so you could fire it up and just charge it up every now and again once the batteries are charged 
you just switch it off and then it just runs the lights um, but no sort of what I don't know what sort of what lights they're supposed to be but judging they I'd say at least a thousand watt lights of anything um, but you'd think that would start the engine would have some sort of burble to it to indicate that it's um, running but again it might be they haven't put that into the uh, into the mod but perhaps perhaps when you and or perhaps when you're around the map itself um, the constant noise will be just following you around all the time I do know on some mods it does that so maybe they just left it out a noise of an engine running for that reason again I'm just guessing um, but anyway that one so I'll show you where both of them are on the uh, switch it off first where both of them are will be well both of them are in your mod sh uh, settings so let's find them for you so we go over to the mods now two different places for the placeable floodlight for the generator floodlight uh, you find it in your misc folder and this is it here again it says it shows you placeable um, it costs uh, five thousand pounds to buy uh, nine pounds per day in maintenance so bear that in mind but when you go to buy you just get the generic placing section <coughs> excuse me <coughs> get the generic placing section and uh, you can just rotate position wherever it needs to and once you purchase it blonk there you go and uh, now I'll show you where the other one is if you guys that haven't got uh, that placeable you'll find out that one sorry you'll find that one in placeables and again this one's slightly more expensive um, to purchase it's five thousand five hundred pounds to purchase and but it's a cheaper maintenance per day so it's only five pounds per day rather than a nine and again like I said I'll put both the links in the description for you guys if I haven't said that before um, anyway so what I'll do is I'll just pause the video here and I'll come back to you at night and you can see for yourself what they are like at night so I'll be right back hello and welcome back and you see it's now night at time in the uh, farm and you can see for yourself that the uh, that the uh, light that this one throws out is a lot duller but it's a good spread of light with well, this one over here is very bright but it's the same amount of spread on that light as well so without further ado let me just show you what it's like driving around with it on for you guys that never used placeable lights before And one thing I will say to you, you will get some glare inside your cabs driving around with the uh, lights on, as you can see the glare coming through the uh, back there. See how it comes on when you get near it. can be a bit annoying we'll come up to this one this is already on why you saying that it seems there yeah, no it's still on already drive around to this one here Again, you see how it lagged out there when it's going from light to light. You will get a lot of that. Again, as you see, it, light does bleed through your cab. So bear that in mind. It does affect the way your lights work as well. this one here, these sets here you 
as you can see it sort of like flickers between the two I've got just driven through that one over there you can see it lights up as you get near it anyway that concludes the uh, mod showcase of the placeable uh, floodlights hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like and uh, if you're new to my channel and want to see further mod showcases and then um, further episodes of anything else I'm doing um, please don't forget to subscribe see you in the next one ta-ta for now